Trimble Business Center Heavy Construction Edition, you can easily take PDF files that have been created and published from a CAD application and convert those PDF files back into actual CAD entities inside of a Business Center project. To do this, I'm going to start by importing the PDF file. Now I have a multi-page PDF file, but I'm only interested in this case in one of the pages of that PDF file. You can bring in and stitch together multiple pages of PDFs and extract them the same way. In this case, what's going to happen is it's going to bring in the PDF file or image and it's going to ask me how I want to place that image into my project. I can do it with a couple different methods, either a known distance or a scale bar and a north arrow or a line with a bearing and distance. But I can also use a georeference uh, vector PDF option. And what this option is going to let me do is, first of all, apply a clipping boundary so I can get rid of the title block information that I don't care to see anyways. So by picking a upper corner and a lower corner and then choosing a pixel by zooming in and snapping to where the intersection of this line may be and then entering in the coordinate or you could select a point like maybe a survey point or some other option in this case I'm lucky that I have a couple coordinates that I can use I'm then going to choose the other point and do the same thing enter in that coordinate Once I enter into coordinates, I'll click register and it rectifies my PDF image or my JPEG or whatever image that I happen to have uh, been brought in, brought in. In this case, I can only extract the vectors from a vector based PDF. I know it's a vector based PDF because it's got a little V up here in the icon. Some PDF files won't be vectorized and a lot depends on how it was published from the CAD application. Since I'm done with this dialog box, I'll close that. And then the next step is to simply right click on that image or choose from a menu up above and select import vector PDF data. I can choose to uh, join the lines that, that are dashed and even preserve the PDF layers. And there's some other settings that I can choose as well. I'm gonna click import. It's gonna take a few minutes or just a few seconds actually for this to import and when you're when it's done you'll see that I have the vector data with the properties as it was published from the CAD application. Now I lose the 3D information and it will only be a 2D document but we've got tools in Business Center that can easily and quickly elevate the line work um, that you need to use to build a surface, to generate quantities, do takeoffs, whatever your uh, operation or, or project is, entails. So you can see over here, I have a 2D, basically flat vector data. I can come over and turn off that image in plan view. And I can come down and I can actually select a line, edit it, elevate it, and do what I need to do to it. I'll show you how accurate it is. I'll come up in here and I'll measure the point of this corner here to the other point on this line and you'll see when I look at the distance, it's 100.23, 100.23. So you can see I got actually an accurate of 100.237, so I'm about a hundredth off. And it just help, happens to be where I actually picked the original points. So to learn more about Trimble Business Center Heavy Construction Edition, contact your local SciTech dealer.